Bismillah Rahman Rahim. I am Dr. Mehtab Alam and now I am going to discuss about the quartile. Quartile means quarter and you know quarter 25%. 25% is called quarter. When you divide all data set into four equal parts, it is called quartile. All data set into four equal parts like here 1, 2, 3 and 4. Quartile measure of central tendency that divide a group of data into four subgroup. First quartile symbolically it is written as Q1. First quartile means 25% of data set is below the first quartile. Second quartile Q2 is 50% of data set is below the second quartile. Q3, 75% of data set is below the third quartile. Now, how you can calculate quartile? What are the procedure? So just uh, go, to, go to the back uh, previous slide regarding cardiac patient in different countries in the world. So number is three. Data is already arranged. So the first step is arrange data into ascending order. Data is already arranged into ascending order. So no need to arrange this data. So first step is already given. So second step calculate I again. For quartile also calculate I. For quartile you can use the formula of percentile only. So first quartile if you want to calculate it is P25. Because Q1 is equal to 25%. Q2 is equal to 50%. Q3 is equal to 75%. And Q4 is equal to 100%. This is the quartile. So always use the percentile formula. So if you want to calculate Q1, so calculate I is equal to N into P by 100. This is so P 25 by 100. This is P uh, Q1 if you want to calculate first quartile. So by this way you can calculate the quartile. Now the question is which measure do you use? Which measure of central tendency is most appropriate? In general the mean is preferred since it has nice mathematical properties. The median and quartile are resistant to outlier. In general, if there are outlier, the median is preferred to the mean. If there are outlier, you consider median in terms of not mean. Median, you should prefer median.